In this video, I'll be reviewing my Coleman Max all-in-one cooking system with Stockpot, Slow Cooker, and Instastart. Stick around for this week's gear review. My name is Dan and welcome back to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by hitting that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's gear review. Well, one of my viewers, Mike from town, had actually reached out to me a little while ago asking me about this uh, new cooking system that I've been using. Um, I, I say new, but I've actually probably been using this guy for about a year or two. It's a great system. It has really everything that you need for your camping trips. Um, this guy's got a built-in grill, griddle, a boiling surface, and it also has this really cool stock pod or slow cooker attachment that you can use. So I'm going to show you how all the components work together, show you some of the features. We'll uh, show you a few little demos of us using this equipment, and then I will let you know my overall thoughts. Stick with us. So I should start by saying that I believe that this set is likely discontinued. I know that Canadian Tire here in Canada does show it on their website as the Coleman Max uh, all-in-one cooking system with stock pot crock pot and they last retailed it for about hundred fifty dollars Canadian all of this stuff comes in that kit but I did get this kit as a gift um, the cool thing that I like about it is it's a lightweight portable small system for those kinds of camping trips where you are maybe car camping but you know you don't want to take a full-size barbecue you don't want to take you know also a camp stove and you also don't want to have to worry about the slow cooker so the cool thing about this is it's a really grab and go solution uh, full honesty I have not really used the slow cooker um, I have obviously used the grill the griddle and the main burner system, uh, as you can tell from the well-loved appearance of them. Um, again, the parts that you get is the uh, griddle. You get a grill. You get this slow cooker and stock pot system, which I'll show you in a little bit, but you can use this directly on the burner to be used as a uh, stock pot or you can put this inside of this little attachment, which mellows down the heat a little bit and allows you to cook nice and low and slow. And then you get this main part, which includes the main burner attachment. Um, I really do like that I can use this on top and then close this and you get that full grill experience. You can cover it, you can really retain the heat inside of it. So I do like that component. Um, and then ultimately when you're cooking different things, you're really just swapping out, you know, the various attachments like that. The burner on this unit is a 5,000 BTU single burner. So you do only have the one oval burner. It says it's about 100 square inches of flat cooking area and the stock pot that comes along with it is quoted at being six quarts or about 5.6 liters and it runs on a one pound propane cylinder uh, for about four hours. A couple other features on it that I really do like is again they don't recommend that you stack these components for regular use however you can stack them together for carrying. So I'll kind of show you how that looks. And then it has this little lock on the front and this handle. So the whole unit does carry really nicely in there and then you basically have everything you need inside this unit minus the stock pot. It's funny, uh, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you notice that the last time I went out I had uh, forgotten the regulator. Well, I recently learned that there's actually a little clip on the back that actually does hold the regulator. So the good thing is uh, in my researching of this video, I found this little uh, clip 
And the good news is, is moving forward, we probably won't forget the regulator since it does just, you know, clip right into the unit. Another great feature that I mentioned is the uh, Insta Start. So again, you can uh, just light it using this uh, push button, this electronic ignition. So you do not have to light the unit with matches. And as I mentioned, everything locks together really nicely. It has these nice sliding locks here on the edges that kind of secures all the, the different grates and griddles inside. And then it has the main clip here on the front to keep the you know door closed. Apologies about the well-loved nature here of this unit, but you can basically use this a couple of different ways with the slow cooker or the stock pot. For something like uh, boiling, like if you want to use this as a stock pot, for example, you would actually just take this pot out and put it directly on top of the burner. That's going to get you the, the more stronger, hot, direct heat. So you would use this if you're trying to, you know, bring something to a boil or to a simmer quickly. Alternatively, if you want to use this low and slow, you would attach this onto it and then put this unit up inside of it like this. And what this is supposed to do is diffuse a little bit of the heat around the actual unit. You can see all these little vents here and it's supposed to, you know, kind of distribute the heat around it so you can kind of use this low and slow. The lid does stick on this relatively well. Like, I mean, you wouldn't want to, you know, carry this by the lid per se. It is vented, so you will see some steam leaving from it. Um, you know, it's not the most strong, it's just plastic, right? But I uh, know it does give you a lid there as well. So I think that that's the main features here of this unit. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll show you using it and uh, then we'll come back with a few of our overall hey, thoughts. As you can see we are outside. We're going to show you here how simple it is to use this. So over here, I hope you can see that in the frame, but over here on the regulator is the temperature control. So really I just usually crank it up nice and high. I like to take this off just so I can see the heat. And then I just give it a few first click and we're good. Put the grill top on, we'll let it heat up and then we'll get some food cooking. All right, we've been heating this guy up for a little bit. It's starting to get warm. We'll open her up. Check back with you soon. Take a look. Eggs are looking good. Nice non-stick. I mean, I know you guys saw me uh, spray a little bit of cooking spray down on there, but I've been always happy with the little top on it. Let's see if we can scooch under it. As you guys can see, right, there's not a huge amount of tabletop surface area, but works definitely good for a couple of people. We're almost done. Be right back. All right, we got camp set up, and it's time for cooking supper. We're gonna have some chicken wings. Oh, yeah. So overall, the things I like about the system. So first of all, I think that this is a really, really, really great option. If you're packing out in the woods, you're heading out camping, you're going to the beach or whatever, and you don't want to bring along multiple systems, like bringing along a little barbecue, bringing along a, a little camp stove. Like, I mean, you would be in essence probably bringing at least, at least twice as much volume as just this unit is, right? So I do like the idea of this. And I like to use this if I'm heading out camping, not with my whole family when we take out the trailer, but I've used this lots of times out on ice fishing overnighters where I wanna grill and boil, or if I'm out camping in my hot tent where I might grill, boil, and maybe use the griddle. It's great for options like that. It's perfect for maybe like a couple of people um, because the cooking surface area, I mean, at the end of the day, it's limited. 
Um, one of the challenges about this thing though, it works really, really great as a barbecue, a griddle or a grill when you want to close the lid, right? Because you can really retain all of the heating here. But I do find that if I'm boiling and this lid is open, it really leaves the sides exposed to wind. So you have to be pretty strategic um, with how you basically position the lid into the wind direction, right? Otherwise, it I find it is harder to bring water uh, or liquids to a boil. Uh, I think it would be helpful, like I said, if it had some sort of panels along the sides to just kind of limit that. Um, a solution I found is by using shallower pots, for example, I might actually be able to even like close the lid over top even when I'm boiling. And then again, that works really, really, really great. But like I said, a little bit of a challenge is a lot of camp stoves, they kind of have those pop out panels that to uh, help, you know, shelter the unit from the wind. Uh, like I said, this doesn't have that. Um, the other consideration is since you do only have one burner, it can be a little bit clunky to cook things. So for example, in the morning when you might want to like boil water for coffee or percolate coffee, but also cook eggs or bacon, I mean, you really do only have the one burner. So it's kind of clunky for that kind of purpose. So I find myself, you know, boil the water, set the water aside, then use the griddle for the eggs and bacon, for example. So it's a little bit clunky, it takes a little bit more preparation, um, but obviously it can be done. and. You know, the, the trade-out is, you know, you're bringing one unit, right? Um, Final thing so that I should mention here too is you guys might be able to see that there's a fair amount of space between the uh, boiling, um, you know, kind of burner part and the actual burner, right? And I find that sometimes if I'm setting on a pot here, it does seem to take a really long time uh, for the pot of water to reach a boil. So you guys probably saw in one of those earlier clips that I sometimes just flip it over and then I'll set the pot right on here. And then I'll find that, you know, the, the flames will kind of go around the pot a little bit and it definitely seems to boil a little bit faster. But I guess just one consideration is I do think that this actual grate is maybe just a little bit uh, too tall uh, to be used like this. Those are really the only things I have as, as drawbacks um, about this. I love the portability. I love how the main components all do fit in here. I love how this locks together. Like I said earlier, I have not really used this slow cooker stock pot combo, so I can't really provide any real feedback on it other than saying, you know, that I, I, I do think it's a clever design. I do think it's kind of interesting how it can pile into this unit. Um, I'm sure that it would work well um, when I test it out or when I use this for those kind of slow cooking or stock pot kind of apparatuses. Um, you know, I can include an update video. Um, full honesty, I was really excited about this side of it. This part of it to me is like a bonus. Um, but I think that that's it in a nutshell on this unit. Um, I want to thank Mike from town for suggesting, um, you know, this video idea. So I will put a link up over my shoulder here uh, to Mike's channel. So I encourage you to check it out. But uh, Mike, I want to thank you for, for watching, being a really long-term supporter, giving me the idea to put out this video. Um, overall, like I said, I think that this is a great piece of equipment if you can get your hands on it or if you can track it down. Um, you know, if anybody has any comments or questions about it, feel free to drop them below. I always respond to every single comment and every single question that I get. Um, but yeah, I think that that's, like I said, that's about all here for today, guys. So, uh, if you made it this far, I want to thank you as always for watching and for everybody who's stuck with the channel. I really, really, really appreciate you for those guys who have been with us for quite a long time. And yeah, if you're new here, you know, please do consider hitting that like button, the subscribe and that bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.